Well, the Food and Drug Administration is warning people not to use counterfeit versions of a diabetes drug that has been found in the country's drug supply chain. Maura Barrett reports. The FDA warning consumers of counterfeit versions of the popular diabetes and weight loss drug Ozempic. The agency announcing they've seized thousands of units of the product in the legitimate U.S. drug supply chain and are testing them alongside Novo Nordisk, the drug's manufacturer, but do not have information yet on the drug's identity or safety. The medication, typically prescribed to treat diabetes, became increasingly popular as dramatic weight loss proved to be an appealing side effect. The hype is real. Iris Felder started using Ozempic in February. I was doing two a days for 12 weeks and I got nothing. It's helped her finally reach her weight loss goals. I can see myself being on this medication for a while and then kind of weaning myself off of it. That popularity surged, though, impacting supply nationwide, forcing some, like Ann Slater, to turn to a compound version. I did have a friend on TikTok who was already using a compounding pharmacy, um, but they weren't available in my state yet. So I started Googling, um, trying to find like a telehealth company that would be able to do it. Now, a specific warning about counterfeits, advising sellers and pharmacies to halt sales of any fake products with this serial number in lot NAR0074, adding that FDA analysis found the needles in the samples are also counterfeit, presenting a potential increased risk of infection. Is it typical for a drug like this for counterfeits to come on the market? I was very shocked and surprised. It's incredibly scary that we don't know where the medication was made, where the compound was made, where it comes from, whether or not it's even sterile, safe to inject, whether or not it would lead to infection. People who have Ozempic injections from the lot number in concern should report it to the FDA Office of Criminal Investigations. The FDA released these images to show the difference between what the authentic Ozempic needle should look like versus the counterfeits they've seen. Patients, even though they very much want to start on these medications, should really take a step back um, and really maybe talk to their regular health care provider about alternative means to get authentic medication. The agency says it's aware of five adverse reactions from use of the drug in this lot, but all of them were consistent with known side effects related to the authentic version of the drug. Well, that was Maura Barrett reporting. If you come across any online selling trying to sell counterfeit items like this, you can file a report with the FDA. You can also call the customer care hotline. Well, the